Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sharier. I hope so all of you are doing well and as you can see currently staying at the night time but in the Bondi but it's okay for some exercise thing and uh, just to hang out a little bit with maintaining 1.5 meter social distance. Um, so uh, as I'm telling this is like the educational blog, one of the blog you know which I want to tell. Yeah, so today we're going to discuss about one of the GIT topics so because the uh, GIT class is going to um, I'm going to take the GIT class very soon so in the GIT one of the very hot topic in GIT it is uh, the GERD the gastroesophageal reflux disease now in gastroesophageal reflux disease one of the very common thing is um, there is you know often there is you know heartburn and this kind of things how that happens so uh, patient usually presented with simple like you know the gas problem so that's why they start feeling the heartburn if you want to differentiate with there is another condition uh, achalasia so achalasia usually does not have the you know the heartburn type of um, complaint actually so um, another symptom the patient um, when they're sleeping at night they also have that discomfort feeling and sometimes there is blotting sometimes there is water blush all right so these are the certain thing and very advanced cases of GERD now this is one of the mistake many doctor did uh, they think okay GERD means dysphagia it's not dysphagia is one of the light symptom actually of GERD the whole term is gastroesophageal reflux disease all right so let's summarize the symptom again um, the patient will feel uh, discomfort they will feel heartburn which is uncommon in case of echalacia apart from that um, there will be bloating there could be water blush there could be night symptom these are the features of uh, GERD now how to confirm this is a what type of disease you know this is our one of the area called esophagus this is something esophageal related problem our the lower end of the esophagus is when there is a sphincter and the sphincter become relaxed actually so normally when we eat the sphincter is constricted and here it remained relaxed so that there is a regurgitation of food so this regurgitation is causing the discomfort actually like you know the acid because the stomach is containing the acidic thing when it uh, come up so it is you know uncomfortable now uh, the, so this is sphincter that's the problematic thing here all right so apart from this sphincter thing uh, apart from this sphincter thing um, and the symptom thing the another thing to remember what investigation to do here so in case of ZRD or any of the esophageal diseases you need to go for uh, barium I repeat you need to go for barium first of all any esophageal disease go for barium now how to confirm a case of GERD so many uh, people answer manometry is not manometry uh, to confirm the echalacia not this one so to confirm the GERD what you need to do is um, 24 hour pH monitoring I repeat in the competitive exam 24 hour pH monitoring that's most important and lastly what is the treatment now even before doing even before giving uh, the investigation most cases uh, it is given a trial PPI for a month like for one month uh, drugs like pantoprazole 20 milligram that can be given now if GR is comfort uh, you know confirmed and the symptom is not going in that case I repeat when you give the 20 milligram of pantoprazole and it is uh, not going not relieving in that case uh, it is better uh, you you know increase the dose I repeat in that case you increase the dose from 20 to 40 yeah. so these are the thing uh, to remember and uh, last option is complication one of the common complication it can be Barrett's that comes in the exam so often so because the lower end when changing so the lower end of the esophagus um, it eventually can be turned into the Barrett's and if there is Barrett's that is a you know chance for cancer cancer potential so I remember in that way one-third AB so it happens in the lower one-third of the esophagus and B for the Barrett's and A for adenocarcinoma remember 
the upper two third of the esophagus it is squamous cell carcinoma another popular question uh, what is the most common type of cancer of the world answer is squamous cell carcinoma but if that same question is asked you know what is the most common type of esophageal cancer in uh, Australia then the answer would be barriers actually so this particular thing to remember uh, this would help I hope so and in the complication remember about the barriers that could be other complication like there could be stricture there could be anemia there could be you know development of cancer all right so I hope so this helps in terms of the GRD and remember the differential achalasia how to differentiate GRD and the achalasia this is important so the summary in case of GRD remember about the symptom either i mean the uh, just seems to come for night symptoms these are the thing investigation uh, we start with the barium and confirmed with 24 hour page and lastly the treatment and in the treatment uh, we need to remember uh, like you know start with the 20 uh, milligram of pantoprazole and if it's not responding in that case raise it up to 40. i hope so this helps this is dr sharia i'll make another blog and we'll help you guys bye bye